Okay, um... Here we are at Hell's Precipice. I am standing on a bloodstone. Um, the last video kind of cut out because I ran out of disk space because we've been doing this all pretty continuously and I haven't had time to convert most of the videos yet. So at the end of the mission, we killed off the seals and then uh, this oh my god my dance is terrible over here uh, is the gate of Komali and it popped open and all of these spirits that you see started flying out of it and then this titan rose up out of the magma that was oh like over there and our good friend the vizier uh, floated over and turned into the lich oh my gasp shock and oh you know, because we totally didn't see this coming, right? <laughs> and, um... After... After he turned into the Lich, he walked up to the Titan and he held up the Staff of Ore that we gave him! Remember, we gave him the Staff of Ore. He holds up the Staff of Ore and commands the Titan. The Titan attacks us. We kill the Titan. And then we get a nice cutscene of the Vizier, now the Lich, um, back the path a ways, ordering a bunch of titans to go attack Rin, um, Lion's Arch? Thunderhead Keep and Lion's Yeah, Lion's yeah. Arch. Yeah, Thunderhead Keep and Lion's Arch. So, everywhere we've been, everyone we've known, is now getting attacked by the... Demonic titans. No, by, by the titans. <laughs> so, we now have to go in and stop him. Now... This dance is awful. Before we go, I want to point out this nice person here. This is Alethea, which uh, we've actually mistakenly uh, said Alethea at several at several times um, because her name's kind of close to Alicia. But this is one of our lovely guild leaders. She's a wonderful person. Let's go. Unfortunately, she can't won't be talking because uh, she has to have her mic off right now or something. So it's kind of common, you know. Sometimes you just can't talk on whatever. Whatever. That dance was awful and was a threat, more of a threat than the titans ever were. Yes, well... It could have been right. worse. It could have been the male ritualist dance, which is from Napoleon Dynamite. <gasps> well, mine was basically just kicking the air until you stood in front of me, and then it was just kicking you. Now these are titans, See, and ain't they impressive? Fun. Well, yes, we're I going to see a no lot of titans in this mission. And, yeah. You kill titan. And then more titans crop up in their place. Oh, you kill this kind of titan, and... Wait for it. More titans. Aw, oh, the pet died. Elithia currently has a level 6 pet that is a fairly new pet that they gave out uh, earlier this year during the, uh, was it birthday party or something? The, the birthday party for the game. And he's a Hound of Balthazar, which is sort of a shout out to Goers 2 because there is an elite skill, Hounds of Balthazar, where you summon two of those things to fight for you. It's a human elite skill. Yeah, so basically you have to kill every titan about five times. And some of the really big ones, you have to kill them about twelve times. And we'll probably be fighting some of the big ones if we can get to the bonus in time. If It's a pretty big if, because there's actually a bad swan that you can get. Um, we have to get the bonus from an NPC, and the NPC it starts to get attacked, and we have to save him before we can take the bonus from him. After that, it's not that hard of a bonus, it's just, you know, a little bit of extra time killing things. And Lich just drops in to say hi. And to cackle. Yeah.
Luckily, by the time you get to mission, despite it being pretty much full of the toughest, most annoying enemies in the game. Well, I'd say the spy is annoying, but yeah. By the time that you get one, well, you've been through 24 missions. And you're pretty used to anything that these guys can throw in. Which is a point, actually. We've been through 24 missions. This is the 25th. Well, we may have put in, like, the endurance part of the endurance run. Because we've all had several breaks while we went to sleep for it. 12 we hours. Are actually... <laughs> yeah, we were very, very much out of it after the last run. Once we got to the, uh, once we got to the Flame Island chain, we all needed to collapse. Connor had many, many real life things to do because, you know, he fights crime on the side. That's a really important thing, you know? That's true. Oh, the fire us. These guys hurt. These guys hurt a lot. Yeah, most of the wipes on missions like this are going to come from the Spark of the Titans. But yeah, I mean, we did, we did fairly impressively getting from uh, Lion's Arch to the Flame Islands without skipping anything in one day, that's not bad. And if we hadn't for some delays on Arena Nets part, we would have gone through the entire thing. Ah, uh, no. Well, we like, to, we like <laughs> to think so. Well, we probably would have, because this actually doesn't take... It takes maybe half an hour to do the last two missions, and then this one probably takes about an hour, so... You know, it was a four-hour maintenance, roughly, and... Yeah, we would have uh, gone through it. And this bit particularly hurts because we get hurt in. Uh, the only thing that might have really stopped us from getting further is um, that we probably would have tried more bonuses. <laughs> I think by the time we got to the Fire Islands last time, we would have skipped all the bonuses. That's true. All I really wanted to do. Um, the first bonus here to get more things um, infused. <laughs> Funny thing, infusing is not that useful in this mission because you don't really see your stat here. Yeah, we've uh, basically the Titans wiped them our set out. As prophesied. Thank you. Self-fulfilling prophecy. Glint, you're horrible. She really is quite terrible. Yeah. Right, uh, stay back here and I'm gonna make the other dudes move. Oh, really is, at this point we have to find out if we're going to get the bonus or not. Crap, I think I brought some. Maybe I can run out of range. <laughs> there we go, okay. Okay, we're supposed to charge with that gap. I'll wait for that one to move and then, yeah. Okay, go, go, go. Oh god, they're coming back. Move I think faster. That one is on Let me kind of come over here. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> no, you don't. So yeah, this is the twenty-fifth mission of Guild Wars. It's the finale to the entire thing. Oh God, he's the seer is right next to a burning titan. Ah, uh, we think we got the bad spawn. He looks like he's doing fine, though. Well, he shouldn't get attacked until we move a little bit closer, but uh, try not to go closer. Okay, we'll take care of these guys.
Bow. And down goes the soldiers. And with the bono. So yeah, basically the pro the plot of Guild Wars Prophecies is us getting played for fools again and again and again and again and again. Okay, let's uh, charge up to our seer now. Try and get our uh, heroes to go much more up here a bit more. Yeah, we got the bonus. Awesome. Well, we got the mission for it. And now the seer can die and we don't care. <laughs> Okay, lead on. I don't remember how to get around here. Uh, I think we're actually gonna have to pull some of these things over here. Well, you're the one who was. Oh, I'll need to take a pull. We're lazy and just hang around in a group. Oh, yeah, that one. There's only one. Twenty-five missions of Guild Wars Prophecies. So, have you got any final thoughts on this game what and everything we've been through? What were we thinking? <laughs> <laughs> well, you mean just doing this run or the game in general? Oh, in general. A whole thing. Clearly, we're insane. No, but really oh, yeah. though, um, I actually kind of wish we could have uh, done this a bit earlier so that we would have had time to do the other campaigns. I mean, there is yeah. so much snarking that we love to do about Nightfall, because Nightfall is truly a horribly written campaign. Oh, it's a much better written campaign than this one, but um, it has one big flaw in the name of, uh, by the name of Cormier. Yeah, pretty much. And some other stuff. Uh, and factions, well, who can't not hate Togo? It is kind of difficult. Oh, uh, there's the, uh, tips did I use? There's the Lich over there taunting us again. Yep. Well, when he sticks around to fight us... We find that his taunts were not well made? <laughs> well, he's got some sort of super ability if he lets him not die, which is quite bad. Where is that? The fun thing about the Lidlow is that he fights you in the only place he can possibly be killed. 
Yeah. Kind of his bag, you know. Yeah, yeah, well, he played as fools this entire time. He really can't fool me with that much of a threat. Yeah. Which is silly, because he's been using us as dumb muscle for this entire time. We have muscles now. Well, technically he needed us before because he needed uh, some nice chumps to uh, fulfill the other parts of the prophecy. But yes, if you've learned anything about this entire game, it's that uh, Glint is a horrible, horrible person. And is basically at all for this entire thing due to her little flame seeker prophecies. The flame seeker in the prophecies being the lich, um, us being the uh, idiots. I don't think we. I don't know. I don't think the actual prophecies themselves are really gone into that well. I know there's some hiccups around it, but I don't know what the entire thing is. So. More sparks. Many, many sparks. There is no end to the bombs. It's the nice thing about this mission is it's the only one where we're not complete idiots. Completely. No one's yeah, playing that's us for fools. No one's telling us what to do. Well, for the most part. <laughs> yeah, you find as Guild Wars went on and their writing steadily improved, that they, their script starts giving us more credit and. Actually, not Until Guild Wars 2, where we are nameless and faceless. We are not, well, yeah, okay, technically. So we we're, get we're, no credit, everybody else gets all of it. And we are. The Guild Wars 2 just doesn't acknowledge we existed at all. That's. It's a sad thing, but oh well. I guess it would be kind of difficult to do it satisfactorily. Probably. I mean, the player character kind of comes from all three, uh, Consonants played all three planes was both genders, all roles. Well, the all roles part isn't too hard, you just get really vague about the primary profession. Or you say that there were like eight of them, which okay, that would work, and then there's like you know, so many of everything. Oh, well, yeah, but then. How does that work with various things? It would just be complicated. And there are the Armageddon Lords. Yep, there they are. Those are your bonus. Just to make sure you're not in danger of running out of disk space this time around. No, I after I deleted the uh, large one that I converted, it was like 70 gig, and then I converted uh, Melania 2, which was I don't know enough to make it like 110 gigabytes free. The thing that no one tells you about making videos—they take up a lot of space. They really take up a lot of space. No, I say that many times. I was the first person to teach video making school, but we didn't go there, as you can. Very blatantly tell. You didn't what? I missed everything you just said because it was really quiet. Yeah, I was sneezing. Oh. My mic ended up quite a way away from my mouth. Going more tighten. Technically, I don't think you have to kill all the extra stuff that spawns for the bonus, but uh, you kind of do anyway. It's already attacking you. Yeah, I mean, we could just let it kill us. That'd be helpful. <laughs> Try 
can get them out of the lava. Yeah. Pretty, pretty please. don't hear about recording is that uh, it's very very big and with fraps which records at a uh, lossless uh, sort of thing um, the first two missions we spent about a half an hour each on which means that each of them were 70 gigabytes that is why the rest of these are recorded in half size People who don't know anything about gigabytes and megabytes, 70 is quite a lot. Like, you know, about five years ago, it's more than you would have gotten on about two computers. I'm making them up. For all you people with SSD drives, that's probably the size of your SSD drive. Some people have bigger ones, but they're extremely expensive. SSD is kind of ridiculously expensive anyway. Okay, we should run down here and close each of these portals. These days, however, we are super spacious. And I've got many a drive, which is over a terabyte. Which is huge. Seriously, good lord. I can't believe I'm filling it up. Right, so, for those who missed Lily's little garbled explanation at the beginning of this video, or the cutscene at the end of the last one, which you all missed because it's sort of screwed up, which Lily has been explaining, um, it's the portals to Lion's Arch, Rin, and Thunderhead Keep, the, basically, the capital cities of the only races left in Tyria now. There are actually quests after you complete this mission that you can do to go defeat the titans that he sent out from these portals that got out before you could close them. And um, there's a fourth place that they sent titans to that is um, Henge of Dunravi. But they didn't mention that too, and there isn't a pen, isn't a portal to it, so really. I guess those just swam? How did we even get to those places faster than they did? Because they took portals and... They took portals which we then closed and went up to fight the Lich and Maybe the then portals we can... weren't uh, exact and they had to walk a bit. It makes no sense. Well, you know. Those portals clearly lead directly to them. We can see through the portals. Yeah. How much did you just pull? Uh, I think this is actually a full group, though. Yeah, it's one group. They eventually added hard mode quests, uh, versions of the quests that you can do to kill off all the titans that got sent out. And they're very interesting quests. <laughs> Which Alethea is laughing at. <laughs> they're, they're really, really hard. They're some of the hardest quests in the game. Like, I'm pretty sure they're um, harder than the hard mode versions of Winds of Change, which is no laughing matter. Wasn't the hard mode stuff from Winds of Change technically impossible in some places? No, it just took a lot of uh, persistence and uh, mercenary heroes for some of them. Really? Because I remember well, until they nerfed complaining. It. Yeah, well they nerfed it eventually because really be done. But I remember you trying again and again and again and again and again and again and failing. 
At least it says she did uh, one of the quests for the hard mode of these with heroes and henchmen. It took her three plus hours. Ooh. Well, technically with heroes. Yeah, that was after the seven hero update, so. Yeah, see, these who try to do the hard mode stuff, I just sailed through an easy mode and left. I had fun. Yeah, all the foes are level 30 plus. They, their mesmers carry panic, which is. Oh, absurd. <laughs> One of them, you have to protect King Adelburn and his group of, uh, whatever you call them, guards, yeah, in those I guess. Area, <laughs> that, I guess that was probably in, the worst one. Yeah, isn't that, isn't that quest in, like, an area you can only have four people in the party Yes, for? yes it is. Ouch! And then the, uh, final quest, after you kill them, um has a, uh... Like, you have to walk a really far away in hard mode, and then it's also in, like, a four-man area. <laughs> right, that's one portal closed. In case you guys didn't see it out there, each portal is manned by three portal rates. You kill three portal rates, the portal closes. We can't just jump through these portals and go home. Very unfortunate. Actually, this portal's not... doesn't look like it's showing the castle. It looks like it's showing... oh wait, is it... That's a, definitely Yeah, that's definitely castle. right inside Lion's Arch. Ha! <laughs> yeah. And there goes the portal. So yeah, technically you can do quests after this bit. Um, after this mission you end up in Drognar's Forge again. Where you can get quests to... Um, Save the world from the Titans that have jumped about and stuff. And you go to these locations and defend the t them from the Titan invasion, which makes no sense because the Titans got there long before you did. It's like, no sense at all. It wasn't like the defense held out against them because you get there just as they're off, and you're pretty much the defenders. Well, the one because that. NPCs uh... You have to do the one for defending Darknar's Forge. They land up in Mineral Springs, and that is really far away from Darknar's Forge. Technically, he said uh, for them to go to Thunderhead Keep, which oh look, I have panic on me. Huh? This this uh, this does work. This is the guy you uh, kept panic from. <laughs> and they go the portals. This meddling is nothing more than a minor annoyance. You're only Still delaying the inevitable. Seriously. Don't know why I had to do that. No, there was no one over there that I was waving. Everyone was on the other side. You're waving to your imaginary friend. You're waving to the uh, Hound of Balthazar, which just kind of sits behind. <laughs> Obviously. Thanks to you, I command an army powerful enough to conquer all of Tyria. And yeah, now fair I call intend it. to use it. Can't really disagree with But before I go, I have someone here you might like to talk to. Perhaps this will slow you down long enough to let me finish my work. It's unlikely. Rorik? How the heck you recognize him? I'll leave. He looks um, nothing like the sword, Rorik. honestly. I'm yeah, sure well, you his, have much You can kind of tell about. from the armor. Um, the most recognizable piece is actually the uh, flap in the center or on the pants. <laughs> Where are you looking? Well, you just told us, right? So. Yes, yes, I did! <laughs> well, it's the most recognizable piece of the armor. I mean, after you uh -huh. see that, the rest of it kind of looks like his armor, but... It's the bit of bright red cloth. It's red, and that's why it's recognizable. Because uh -huh. red kind of draws your eyes into it. Uh -huh. It really does! I took a lot of uh -huh. art classes, you know. 
Uh. Doesn't mean I'm good at it, but... <laughs> Also circles Look at him, some of those titans. Very, very slow. I am the flame seeker. All of Tyria shall bow to me or be destroyed. He's got a nice set of wings there. I don't think there's anything that looks like him in the rest of the game. Forgive me. But it is not my will to fight you. But I have little choice in the matter. Okay, he does have that cloak that we should kind of recognize if we could see the back of him. Right, who wants to stab? Can we take turns? <laughs> we'll just like, you know, go around in a circle and uh, each stick a dagger in it once, right? I think they that did was that somewhere in Shakespeare, you know? I think it sounds like a great plan here with Rurik. <laughs> Ow. Yeah. Oh crap. I can't really help you. Flag him back, flag him back. I can't. I'm dead up here. You can like flag them back though. Flag them back up the path. Okay, I can hit, I can hit. Okay, that's done. There's a lot of empty path back here, so. Uh, crap, uh, maybe I'll get to one Ah. No, save here, um. See, I'm just remembering the thing about Undead Prince Rorik is that he has some of the really nice warrior skills. He does! He has, uh, 100 blades, which is probably the most popular warrior skill. <laughs> well, one of them anyways. Yeah. Um. Uh, careful about how you pull them. I think. Yeah, he... I mean the main. Yeah. I the think main difficult thing about this fight is the spark of the titans at the top there. Yeah. They do some pretty nasty damage. And of course, henchmen love to clump up like they're doing again. So. Yep. Yeah, but we've taken care of it now. Undead now Prince Rorik. Take care of those things. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, Prince. Can't happen to a nice person. Why don't we get to kill Cormier and Togo like this? This yeah. is fun. Well, Togo at least gets you know stabbed by somebody. There are some nice moments in that campaign. It's true. Listen to me. The door of Komali must be closed. Kill the Lich while he stands atop the Bloodstone inside the Caldera. If you do this, his spirit will recharge the soul batteries, and the door will close again. It's glad the Lich did. Oh, you have this. served Ascalon well. No, we I beg of you. Do one last duty for your prince. Anything, my prince. Ex prince. End my misery. Release me from the Lich's spell. If that Sadly. is what you wish. Oh, totally. This looks much more Ooh. dramatic when you have a sword or an axe. Yeah. It looks really silly when you've got a caster with a uh, caster weapon. And somehow killing makes Travel the stones well, rise out through the Yeah. Until we meet you again in the Hall of Heroes. We won't. Don't worry. Right, time to boogie. Ooh, gold. I'm gonna pick up my drops. <laughs> Not that these drops are worth anything at all, but... Nope. <laughs> Lathia says his corpse is the counterweight. <laughs> I 
And thanks to that, we have a shortcut straight back to here. Yep. Do we go up here? Yeah. I think they're gonna ask you. Fine, they're gonna chase. <laughs> Was this place on as so much when we came through here last time? Was it on? Was it as on fire? This place is kind of always on fire. Fair enough. And we're back. To the place where this mission starts itself, actually. We basically just chase the lich around in a big circle. Yeah, we do. They cut out so much of prophecies. Could they have cut out that long, long, grueling chase? You know that's such a thing. Okay, the Lich is saying we're no match for his almighty power. We know that's blatantly not true. In this game, almighty power tends to uh, last as long as your hit points do. And it's not really last that long. We do, however, have to kill him up here on top of the lodestone. No, I don't think it matters where we kill him. Mm, yeah, we do. No, it's really you kill him again and again until he dies. Sometimes it's only once, sometimes it's up to three times. Because it has to be up here. It really doesn't. Alethea, does it has to be up here? D the wow, my English is fantastic right there. Does it have to be up here or not? Please, break this tie. It does not have yes, to be. Yes, it should be. There you go. See, two to one, listen to the ladies. And no, because flag, you're not. No, flag the henchman up to the center up here too, because otherwise every time you get ported out, they're going to run into the lava. Of course they're going to run into the lava. That's what they do. Alethea says <sighs> she's never had it work otherwise, and neither It's a I. myth. It's something that got passed around. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. He's not... Uh... I would love to, but he's being a pain about it. Well, at the very least, Rurik did just say, kill him up here. Look at her. You're right. He died right on top of the dark. He does now actually come right back, back to life at least once, though. Yeah, that's what he does. He comes back to life a bunch of times. It doesn't... is completely randomized. The ones who have to pain resurrecting on this on this rock are us, because of that buff. Well, ideally, let's just not die. I mean, it's not like yeah. he does a whole lot of damage. Uh, he leaves out much mostly to his assistance. See, there we go. Put him on top of the rock, he died. He wasn't on rock when he died. He was right on the side of it. Uh huh. I'll, I'll check later. We'll you see. know, Guild Wars Prophecies is not coded well enough for that to be a thing. Anyway, we won. Ah. And the door of Kamali is closed. Oh, it shows him right there in the center. I think they actually moved. Yeah, that's not where he died. I will totally go back and check this video. We will go back and check Hey, look, it's Glint. The Glint. The Even though we killed him. Tyria is revived again. What does that mean? Over the bones of the bird of prey, the fire is put out and the diabolic gathering is closed off once again. What? Speak the English! The prophecies are now complete. The Unfortunately, door of she is speaking is closed, English. And the Titans are once again safely locked away behind it. For a given value of safe. You have saved Tyria, but now you must also save yourselves. The volcano is about to erupt. You really should have mentioned See, first. now somebody starts telling us what to do again. <sighs> there is a ship in the dock, just inside the Mersot stronghold. Unless you wish to Somebody suffer the gold. same fate as Vizier Kilbron, then yeah, I, I suggest you make a run for it. Your deeds have earned you a place among the heroes of legend. Let us hope today is not the day your spirit joins those in Scotland. Yeah, stop in talking. The hall. We should be running away now. Yeah. 
and for some reason no one thinks to grab that thing three feet in front of you on the ground. Oh, so I think it took it. No, it kind of disappears off on its own. In the end of the Eye of the North video, yeah. it shows Olivia finding it. Yeah, for some reason. That, that can't be a good sign, really. Even though I like Livia. Are you kidding? Livia? <laughs> she's, um... Livia. Yeah, she makes bad... Yeah, she's part of the Shining Blade, so she makes bad decisions. She's probably the most competent member of the Shining Blade, but she's still a little bit, uh... Well, yeah. she's probably evil. I mean, we do find her working with Gab. Anyway, that's a conversation for another time. We got to the boat. Yay, we live. Yay. That was an entirely unattic. There's not even any music. What? That was really disappointing as an ending. Well, yeah, but look at what and comes up. And here's the epilogue. See, yay, the epilogue that was added later. Much, much later. Hooray for Tyria! Okay, are there hoorays for us? Oh, you saved the day, there we go. Lich the Lich is dead. dead. Heroes of Tyria, okay, well let's see. And a bunch we of people bowing to us. We have, oh look, they changed Samus model in here. So she actually looks like what she does later. Salma we haven't actually encountered during this entire campaign, but there are yeah. some Well, you're kind of supposed to when you go do the skill quest, because you do a skill quest to find out that she's the queen. Well, uh, air. <laughs> Let's see. Well, Kappa and little Tom come over here to have a nice little argument. <laughs> that Kappa woman is a pain in my backside. I don't know if I should kill her or marry her. <laughs> Well, she says that he won't get away from her now. I think she's going to marry him. Mmm. The worst She'll punishment ever. Adelburn shows up! Fuck, he leaves his crazy land of crazy! Yep. Come home and deal with the filthy char infestation! You know, I kind of banished my prince and you followed him. But, uh, you know, um, come back now that you're a big hero and all. Who's this Simon Scribe fellow talking? Um, he is uh, the scribe of King Adelburn. To document this auspicious occasion. In accordance with my duties as royal scribe. Can it make a statement for posterity? Yes! See that woman over there, Evenia? She's insane. And uh wherever Salma went, no, she's King kinda Adel cool. And King Adelburn, he's he's nuts. He's like completely off his rocker and uh, Vinny is just stupid. She's not really insane so much as hopelessly naive. Get and away dumb. from Adelburn. He does bad things, bad things happen, and you don't want to be near him, Simon, because you're probably a cool guy. They brought Oink. Oh. <gasps> oink! Where is he? Oh, oink! Yes, this see this man here? This is the height of Crichton fashion in whatever year this is. In 250 years, curtain fashion is completely better. <laughs> because right now, they think that whatever this is, is the fashion. They are all wearing it, man. Like, even their kids got something similar. Yeesh. Over here's the uh, henchman and shadow. <laughs> talking about why they were all there and not. Uh, ah, I see he ran into uh, Kilroy. Ah, Kilroy. Hope he didn't know if you were coming back. Talk? Ah, there she is. Ha 
Yes, Mendel is so much better than her. Even if we didn't use it that much. And become a High Priestess of Duena. Later on, we see her holding a sword and saying something about, uh, everyone said I was better at being a warrior. <laughs> So yeah, this is the uh, this is the zone you can only get to by finishing the campaign. Well, by doing the last mission, really, which is yep. a lot less impressive sounding. But that was Guild Wars Prophecies. Uh, is there anything else we really need to cover? I don't think so. Oh well, like here's King Jollus, and he gives you a present. He gives you this Delta Mar Talisman, which you come up here and take to one of these guys for some weapons. That seems to be about all. I'm going to turn off the recording before the credits hit, <laughs> because nobody <laughs> wants to watch credits. Duh.